What's up YouTube? Zuler Official here today with another video review. Now today I'll be talking about the Spike Mic Launcher. Now this is another Spy Gear playset and what you are taking a look at right now is the instruction manual. As you can see, it looks wordy, but it is not intimidating. The only section of this instruction manual that you need to take a look at is this area right here. It's all in English. Well, this section, that's what I'm talking about. The rest of it is in a different language. But right here is what you really need to take a look at. And of course, you can use the pictures for help. So the instruction manual seems wordy and all of that stuff, but it's really just a lot of it is in a different language. So don't worry, it is not that intimidating. So right here we have the playset. As you can see, we have the base of the set. This is what, you know, kind of operates your entire system. This contains the batteries and this is what you use to spy on when uh, you're using this playset. So right here we have the launcher. This is what launches that little sticky arrowhead. We have the microphone, and we have two different heads for the launcher, but only one of them, the red head, can be launched from the slingshot right here. So as you can see, the red tipped arrowhead, or sticky head, has two little pieces that will latch on to the slingshot over here, but the suction cup head has nothing. The suction cup head needs to be placed manually. So keep that in mind, you can only shoot the red tipped suction head. So that is what the playset comes with. So now let's talk about how to use the playset. So first what you want to do is you want to attach the slingshot portion are part of the playset onto the base. So how you do that is you have to make sure that the spot right here with the little opening is facing toward the back of the base. So you can just easily slide it in. Now usually I don't get a click but I know that it is secured. So as you can see I'm pulling it back and it's not moving. So that's when you know that it is placed in properly. And then you can choose the arrowhead that you want or sticky head that you want and I'm going to go with the red tipped. Then you can take the microphone and just screw on the microphone to the tip just like so. And then right here on the toy you'll notice there is the on button. You want to turn that on after you've turned on the base. And the on button for this is right here you'll notice that there is a charge button as well and you can turn that on just like so and you'll notice that green blinking light which means that it is looking for the microphone so before we turn on the microphone and get it started I just want to let you know that the charging port is also on the base so that if you ever wanted to charge up your microphone right here on the side of the microphone you notice that little white spot you just place the charger inside the base just like so very easy to charge you place the little switch that I showed you earlier onto the charge section and the light will blink red or not blink red it will just remain red if charging and turn off when done so now let's turn on the set right here and then we're going to turn on the microphone as well. So you'll notice that little sound. I'm just, you know, I'm making the microphone get closer to the bass. And I'm actually going to speak into the microphone and maybe you guys will hear it out of the bass as well. So we got a bit of a squeak. You just, you want to make sure that the speaker right here is far away from the bass. So let's see if you can hear this. Um, I don't know, it sounds a little staticky, but the, keep in mind the microphone is very close to the bass. So you have an idea right there, let me just turn it off for you. I'm sorry, it, uh, the microphone was very close to the, the bass right here, so that's what the static noise was. It's not, the toy it does not do that. So if the microphone is close to the bass, it will static up a bit, but that is not a problem with the product. It, that just happens 
naturally. So as you can see, it works. The microphone performed really well. And of course, you can shoot this slingshot as well. And I'm going to actually demonstrate that. I'm just going to quickly shoot the arrowhead over to my couch over there. And uh, you'll see that demonstration right now. Now the Spike Mic Launcher works best on windows or walls, but unfortunately where I do my reviewing, there isn't a window and the walls are quite jagged. Now I actually found it that this product works quite well on smooth, any smooth surface, not just a wall or a window. Now my couch isn't exactly a smooth surface, but I thought, you know what, when you're spying on people, especially if you're a younger brother spying on your older sister going out on a date, they're most likely sitting down on a couch or, you know, near a couch. So shooting this type of microphone near a couch would just be really convenient. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys first, as you can see, our launcher right here. I'm going to just show you guys how to place the dart into the playset. And you just want to make sure that the slingshot isn't going to fling up at you or the dart isn't going to go flying in the opposite direction when you shoot it. So make sure you have a good grip on it, just like so. It's very, very easy to set up. It's actually self-explanatory. And as you can see the couch right there, it is around 10 to 15 feet from where I'm shooting it. So it's not like a super far distance, but keep in mind the projectile is quite heavy. So here we go. So as you can see, it didn't stick super well, but if I wanted to, you know, I could make the dart stick. And it is actually getting quite dirty, the dart head, which is unfortunate. But what's really cool is if you read the instructions, it says that to clean off the dart head, all you have to do is rinse it off with water. But I've been using this dart head a lot, shooting it at things, seeing how well it works. So it's not terrible, and it works best on smooth surfaces. But I personally find it, it would work the best if it was able to stick to couches or onto different areas where you know, you'd be spying on people. So that is what the product looks like somewhat in action. So in my opinion, the product is very fun to use. I've actually, like I said earlier, the dart head got quite sticky because I was running around shooting at like everything that I saw to see how well it was sticking to things. In my opinion, I wish that this product worked a little bit better on, for instance, areas like couches because, you know, younger kids are going to be uh, more interested in these type of products because you know they want to spy on their older sister or brother or something like that you know they're going to be shooting it in areas where their brothers or sisters will most likely be and in my opinion unless the dart is colored uh, maybe in like the color of your wall then it would work out better because the dart would be more camouflaged but I mean it's not a huge problem it is just a toy but you know I think about these things every now and then Although I do have to say it did stick well on the couch for the most part when I was doing my trials. It just happened to, I noticed that actually after I did everything that the dart head was really dirty. And don't worry, you can actually wash off the dart head with water uh, in the instructions. It specifically states that you can do that. So I thought that that was really cool. And it's really nice that the microphone actually works pretty well too. And you can actually hear through the bass what other people might be saying in that general area. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and of course, thank you for watching.